Hello friends. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Joe Jolly. I am a uh, home inspector. I'm licensed through the Oklahoma Construction Industries Board. I've been a home inspector for about six and a half years. I am also recognized as a certified master inspector um, as uh, uh, I met the qualifications as described by the uh, certified master inspector uh, committee. They are in association with the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors, which is the largest uh, home inspector organization in the world. I just want to share a little bit about that to let you know who I am and exactly what I do. Uh, part of what I do is, uh, as a home inspector, uh, well, I inspect almost every component and system in the house. And of course, one of the major systems uh, during a home inspection is the, elect, uh, the electrical system, electrical uh, portion of the, of the house. And the brains of the whole system, if you would, is the, the electric panel. And of course, that is a, a major part of the inspection, making sure uh, everything's wired correctly and uh, uh, there's not issues going on with that. Uh, many times as a a home uh, as a realtor, either the listing agent or the buyer's agent, or if you're uh, selling or buying your home, you may have had an inspection and uh, the report comes back as having an electric panel uh, made by Zinsco. And uh, many, all inspectors know that this Zinsco and know the issues with it. And you're, the report may have probably indicated uh, some issues by having a Zinsco electric panel. Uh, I ran across, I run across those from time to time. And uh, here recently, the past three or four or five months, I've, this is, I ran across several in homes that I've been inspecting. Uh, Zinsco panels, uh, they are known for their safety issues. Um, more, uh, uh, kind of a better description, they, they're known for causing house fires. Um, I have, because I've ran into the, to those more often here lately, um, sometimes the explanation that's given to the buyer or the seller or the real estate agent, it's, you know, pretty simple. It's like, hey, they're a safety issue that cause fires, you know, but that's a, sometimes about as far as it goes. But because I've ran into several of these here lately, the past few months, I wanted to do a little bit more research so I can give a better explanation as to what is going on with the Zinsco panel. Why, uh, you know, if you're the seller's agent, why uh, is this being reported as, you know, an issue for your sellers? Or as, if you're the buyer's agent, you know, why is it important to have this issue addressed? Um, like I said, I've ran into these uh, quite a few here in the past few months. So I wanted to share with you some things that I found. So I can give you a better explanation other than, well, they're just, they're just dangerous and they cause fires. I wanted to explain that deeper and uh, share this with you so that you can have this knowledge and be able to share it with your, take this further and share it with your, your buyers or your sellers. Just depends on what side of the fence you're on uh, of, the, of the selling process that is. Um, Zinsco panels, I have one here behind me uh, this was given to me by a friend of mine, Ron Quick. Uh, he, uh, he swapped one of these out and, re and replaced it, and uh, he was kind enough to give this to me. Well, he didn't give it to me. It, it cost me a Cracker Barrel breakfast, but uh, I was glad to pay, uh, glad to get to fellowship with Ron and have a good time. But uh, anyway, he shared this with me. And this, the Zinsco panel is, is uh, easy to, to identify. It's, it's built different than uh, your normal um, uh, Eaton or uh, Cutler Hammer or uh, uh, General Electric or Square D. They're, they're made a little bit different. You see they just have a single row of breakers and the, what is uh, the real identifying factor is the green and the red and the, the light green breakers. They are used to identify the amperage of these of these breakers. Uh, what is good about these is I can spot them across the room. I can I can see it when I, I can uh, identify a Zinsco panel 
when it's across the room and like, oh, there, yeah, I can see that from here. It's a Zensco panel. Um, a little bit of brief history about the about Zensco. Uh, Zensco started making these panels that are the concern in about the 1960s, early 1960s. They made these panels and they were at a time where there was a copper shortage, so the codes were being a little bit more lax, and they were allowing them to make make these breakers with uh, with aluminum, and which is fine and dandy, except the aluminum that was being used was a low quality, and uh, they made in they made their panels uh, under the Zisco brand up until about 1973, when GTE Sylvania bought bought out Zinsco. And G, uh, Sylvania continued to make them up until the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. Now there's a, still an inventory on hand, so you, we may find these panels in houses, you know, up through the mid 80s, or you know, give or take. Uh, now, the, like I say, the, the Sylvania bought them out, but it was just a name change, really. Um, it's the exact same panel. Just a different name, you know, a, a rose by another name is still a rose. I don't know if I said that correctly, but I think you get my gist. Uh, going back to the aluminum, the uh, the the uh, uh, bus bar that powers that that brings power to these breakers was a low grade aluminum. This aluminum would corrode, and uh, which a corroded aluminum has more of a insulating factor as opposed to a conductivity uh, capability meaning in in you know common common terms it would hold in heat during the this electrical you know a lot of this distributing electricity throughout the house um, in it, by holding in heat uh, which it should not do it would allow it could possibly melt these breakers um, in which if a breaker melted, it would not trip when it should. These breakers, they are not, uh, one of the problems with them is they, the breakers would not trip when either they are have overcurrent, which means they're drawing too much electricity is going through them, <clears throat> excuse me, or there's a, there's a short circuit somewhere in the, within the house. Uh, at both times, these breakers should trip well, because of the this corroded aluminum, the the holding the heat, the melting the breakers, all those things tied in together, uh, these breakers would not trip. It would, it, no matter what type of load is placed on them, uh, you, it would continue to be overloaded or that short circuit still uh, present in the wiring. These breakers would not trip, generating more heat. In just a vicious cycle until these would catch on fire and of course uh, cause a fire in the house and this is why uh, that this is what Zinsco is known for and and that's why it is is always in my report now let's go back let's back up just a little bit now just because this house has a Zinsco panel does that mean that house is going to burn down no that's not what that means um, Testing and, and just uh, statistics indicate that one out of every four of these panels is faulty. Now, does that mean that one out of every four of them is going to catch fire and burn the house down? There again, no. Excuse me. <clears throat> Under normal conditions, <coughs> excuse me. Under normal conditions, Everything is fine, uh, you know, the electricity is flowing through and everything is fine with the system. Where we run into problems is when this panel gets overloaded, over, there's an overcurrent, there's uh, a short circuit somewhere in the, in, the, in the wiring system, something shorts out. That's where your problem is. So when that, uh, when that happens, that is where your, your problem uh, arises. That's where the heat generates. That's where the uh, causes the fire. Like I said, only one out of, approximately one out of every four 
uh, is faulty, but it's only faulty when it, like I said, everything is fine and dandy unless it's put under a test, it's put under a load, there's a short circuit. So that's, that's where the, like I said, the problem arises. Um, and there again, inspectors are going to report this as a deficiency and recommend it be replaced. Because the only way to, to know if this, is a, if this is good or bad is to cause a short circuit, to overload it or whatever. And of course, that is way beyond the scope of my inspection and uh, it, it's unsafe. It's, it's not a safe condition to, to cause a short circuit, to cause an overload. And I doubt very seriously that an electrician is going to do that either. So uh, your best solution is um, to have it replaced. And I know, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. The question comes up, you know, well, you know, 25%, you know, that means that 75% that it's going to be okay. I want you to think about something. Um, I This is how I think about a lot of things that I inspect. I'm like, now, would I want my child to live in this house? Or would I want my, my grandchildren to live in a house where there's a 25% chance of, of, this ha of this happening if, if something goes wrong? Um, the answer is no. Uh, I'm not someone that wants to just push this and force this on you. But I do recommend that, it, that when we run across these, that these be replaced. And uh, I... Uh, they're just they're just not very safe. And as a as a retired firefighter, and I'm talking about fires, it's, I'm very passionate about this. Um, I have seen what fires can do to the buildings and to to life uh, uh, people's lives. And I, it's it's not pretty, and I don't like I don't like seeing it. That's why I'll always recommend these uh, to be replaced. So anyway, I I hope this helps you get a better. Uh, understanding better grasp on what is behind this Zinsco panel and uh, why the inspectors like myself will uh, uh, report these and uh, you know if you have any questions I urge you to call me call me anytime my number is 918-381-3980 you can call text and just uh, ask questions about this or any anything else about a your uh, home inspection that you're going to have or want to have, or uh, I'd be glad to help you out in any way I can. So thank you all very much.